Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday, thank goodness. And I'm actually just getting ready to log on to Zoom and do a Zoom call with a bookkeeper. I have recently, in 2021, started kind of outsourcing more for things to um, save my mental sanity. So, I'm about to log on. It is 10 right now, so I have to go. Basically, I'm just begging someone to help me with my finances. <laughs> Hello. How are you? It's about an hour later and I am now just getting ready for the day and it's noon. I don't know what's caused me to be so behind, but I was actually going to get up this morning and like do some stuff before I filmed some videos and my meeting and everything like that, but I ended up falling back asleep, which never happens. I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but I struggle with sleep sometimes, especially being up in the middle of the night. I just like randomly wake up and once I'm up, I can't really fall back asleep. So somehow by a Christmas miracle, I was able to fall back asleep this morning, which was really nice because I needed it. Cause, oh my gosh, I was up super late last night because the Fearless re-recorded album came out. In case you need a quick recap and you're not in the Taylor Swift fandom, which I guess some of you who watch this video may not be, which is tragic, but Taylor Swift, long story short, got into like a really bad record contract, like a record deal when she was really young, like 15 or something like that. She doesn't own any of her music up until her 2018 album, Lover, 2019? 2019. And the condensed version is that the person who owned her record label sold all of her music to Scooter Braun, which is like a whole other story. And basically in her recording contract, it says that she's able to re-record her albums, like re-record all of her music in 2020, which was like, you know, 15 years after she signed her record deal or something like that, which was last year. So she started re-recording last year and the first album came out last night. So this is actually a chance for her to own her work and be able to actually actually like own the rights to the music that she created and wrote. I don't know. The music industry is weird and really whack, but Fearless the album came out when I was 20 years old. Believe it or not, it was right before my 21st birthday. I'm 33 now and I cannot even begin to tell you the power that this album had as a 20 year old, like had just moved away from home, was in this new relationship, was so excited, was like healing from my high school breakup. You know, it was just so powerful. And so like going back in time and the intense nostalgia that was attached to it was just so insane. I enjoyed it so, so much. I found myself getting emotional a couple times. Like when I heard Fearless, I don't know, just, like hearing where she was at and being her fan since literally 2006, seeing where she's at now with her life just being so peaceful and wonderful is, it was just amazing to see. It's crazy. So that was why I was up until like almost one in the morning. Cause I was like, I have to listen to like all freaking 30 songs. She released new songs as well. So not only did she re-record the entire album with all of the deluxe tracks, because she used to release like two versions of her albums back in the day, she would do like, the regular album and then if you bought the deluxe version there would be like three or four extra songs on it which were always some of my favorites she stopped doing that back like i think 1989 was the last album she did that but she also released some songs that had never been released before they were songs during that era so she wrote them when she was you know 17 18. it was just so fun like it was such a fun listen i'm like so excited for all of the albums that are to come but fearless has a really special place in my heart because i just feel like throughout the years her albums have really kind of mimicked what is going on in my life like red was when i was going through one of the worst heartbreaks of my life and that was like such a prolific album for me yeah and i just i i just love her i i love my girl i'm just so happy and it was just so much fun to listen to that and like yes yeah, step back into that world i think is how she worded it what an awesome night so yeah i was up partying alone by myself in my bed i think if i had to choose my favorites my favorites from the fearless era were fearless obviously hey steven was a bop to re-listen to that was so fun forever and always was amazing 15 was actually really emotional because she wrote that when she was probably like 18 or something like that and it was about her experience being 15 and now she's like re-singing it as a 30 year old and like 
Ugh, that just made me emotional. Breathe with Colby Calais is always a favorite. That was like, I, you guys, was so obsessed with Colby Calais back in the day. I loved her. The best day made me literally cry. Like, it's just one of the sweetest songs she's ever written. It's just so precious and adorable. Forever and Always, the piano version slaps. Jump then fall, ugh. And then the other side of the door, the outro to the other side of the door, like, if you know, you know, it was just magical. I cannot wait. I have literal chills. I cannot wait to scream that in my car. I'm so excited. So yeah, anyways, getting ready to film some videos. Oh, completely forgot to mention this. Um, I got my second vaccine. Wow, what a time. Um, I got it Wednesday night. I was gonna film it and then I was like, no. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't need to film everything. You know, I filmed my first one and it was exactly the same except Drew drove me this time. He wanted to come with. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to like have his nieces over for a sleepover and just be able to have like a safe semblance of life again. The fact that after being fully vaccinated, I'm considering, you know, potentially like Oh my gosh, the thought of even saying this, possibly even like going to thrift stores or like going into fitting rooms and trying on clothes, like trying on different sizes and doing those types of videos again. Obviously, since I'll be wearing a mask, I'll probably do mostly like voiceover stuff, but I don't know. I'm just so freaking excited at the possibilities. Obviously, I'm going to continue, Drew and I always, this entire time have followed what the CDC recommends. And we are going to be safe AF. I'm just excited to, to experience some more things, but safely. I think Drew just went downstairs to make his lunch, so I'm gonna go have lunch with him, and then we're gonna continue with our day. I'm just in such a good mood. Oh, by the way, um, side effects, forgot to mention. I didn't really have any side effects for my vaccine. I, the first one, I was really, really tired and just, I felt like super dehydrated and tired, but that's because I was dehydrated because I did my volunteer shift. I was on my feet for like nine and a half hours. I didn't really drink that much water because I was so busy. And then the sun just kind of beat me up. So that was more the after effect of the sun beating the shit out of me <laughs> as opposed to the actual vaccine. But then the second one wasn't bad. It was actually like, super easy i barely felt it drew said he watched the needle go in which was funny i didn't look i was just like ah. i got my shot at like 8 45 p.m i got pfizer by the way for those of you wondering i got my shot at 8 45 p.m went to bed felt completely normal felt completely fine woke up felt completely fine and then around i would say like 3 p.m yesterday so the next day I started feeling a little bit achy, like I had some body aches. So that would have been what, 18 hours after I got the vaccine or something like that. Um, and felt like a little bit body ache-ish. And then I took a nap and I woke up and I was completely fine. And I've been fine ever since. So we're now a good 36 plus hours out from the vaccine and I still feel great. I have heard people say that on day two, they experienced some symptoms. I have yet to experience any. I feel amazing, I'm really lucky. Please get vaccinated if you can. Okay, love you. Good morning, everybody. I am so tired. I don't know what my deal is. Lately, I have been having so much fatigue and exhaustion. Like, I just literally don't have any energy anymore and I don't understand why. I don't know what's going on. I've been eating so much nutrients in my food and like I've been not doing anything. So I don't know, I'm thinking what I need to do. I'm feeling like checking in with my body and seeing what I need and I think what I'm missing is exercise. I was doing really, really good a month or so ago with exercising and then I sort of just stopped doing it. I got caught up with like a lot of like branded work and stuff and I just like, it overwhelms me to have too many things on my schedule. So that was like sort of the one thing that I moved and I feel like I really need to add some movement back into my routine because it makes me feel really good So yeah, I've just been feeling like really like tired all the time Just like really lethargic and I think maybe adding in some movement in my routine again is gonna help with that It's gonna like give me some endorphins. So that is what I'm gonna do I'm trying to decide if I want to do a dance workout or if I want to like ease back into it because I haven't been on that 
I call it a Peloton, it's not a Peloton. <laughs> I haven't been on my exercise bike in like probably a month. So I'm thinking maybe just like a low impact ride to kind of like ease me back into it is like what my body is needing today. I ordered some groceries and I really hope that they don't come like when I'm gonna be on the bike, but I'm pretty sure they will. So we'll, we'll just see, we'll see. But friendly reminder to check in with your body and see what your body needs. If your body needs rest, you should rest. If you feel like your body is calling you to move, consider moving. I really wish the grocery store didn't deliver with plastic bags. They don't always, but this time they did. But I do reuse them for like dog poop, cat litter and stuff. So it just sucks. Oh, I guess I could do a grocery haul. Here's some random things that I got. I got some corn, meatless grounds. I actually asked for the garden ones, but they were out of them. I really want to try making spaghetti squash. I used to have it as a kid and I hated it. But like I saw someone eating it the other day and I was like, that looks kind of good. So I'm gonna try it again. Got some celery. I have celery with peanut butter and craisins, like ants on the log, literally every day almost. I just love it. I got some green juices. I don't know what possessed me to do this. I just thought it might be good to like do like a small amount in the mornings. Feel like I'm getting some greens in. I don't know. Got some yogurt. These are my favorite yogurt. I have them with Granola, strawberries, blueberries, bananas, whatever. Hemp seeds, chia seeds, etc. Got some eggs. These are the best like grocery store eggs. They're very expensive. I think they're like $6 for a dozen, but they're so good and they're like really, really orange. Very tasty. Got some Annie's mac and cheese shells. Why not? Then I got some more of these smart sweets because I ended up actually really liking the watermelon ones. If you remember when we did a grocery haul a few months ago, we got some of the watermelon flavor and I ended up actually really liking them. So I got some more to try. I got the, I think these are like Sour Patch Kids. And I'm also gonna be trying the Starburst ones. They have like a lot of fiber and stuff. So I thought that's good. But I also have like Gushers, Fruit by the Foot, Fruit Roll Up in my pantry already. I just wanted to try it. All right, workout done. Smoothie has been consumed. I actually just got a package and I ordered it on Amazon. Not, I know, not great, but this note came in it and it says, thank you for ordering. Tidy sink is the invention of our mom. She hates a mess. We are a small family business. So we truly appreciate your purchase. So can small family businesses be third party sellers on Amazon? But Amazon isn't a small business. I don't know, I'm very confused. Either way, I ordered this thing. This right here, it's called a tidy sink. I have a really weird thing with sinks. Like I'll like gag sometimes, <laughs> like sinks, drains, bathtubs, showers. Like it has to be really clean. So if sinks freak you out, don't look. So, okay, here's our current setup. I know this is like really random, but we have a brush and a sponge and we have this little thingy, which has our soap on it. And it's been very convenient. We've had it for the last like two, three years. But the thing is, it has these little holes. I'm not gonna show it up close. It has these little holes. And so when you like go to wash your hands or you go to like do the dishes, there's a lot of water that gets in there and it collects at the bottom and you can take it off and rinse it out. But the water in there is, I mean, it's green. <laughs> like it's green and slimy and brown and like I'm just getting so tired of it. And I, you know, sanitize it. I wash it with like hot soapy water and stuff. But I'm just, I'm like, so tired of that, I'm just super grossed out. So I saw this thing, I got two of them, the other one is still coming, but it's basically like a little thing that you put on your sink divider and then you just like stick your thing in there. This is genius. And then yeah, like I said, I have another one on the way, so I'm gonna do this like here and then that's gonna be it. I'll just put this in storage or something like that and then I actually ended up getting a new soap container because this pump always breaks. So then I'll just have like the soap here, this stuff here. And then that's it. Oh, also we grew a little herb garden. This was a gift from Drew's mom for Easter. She got us Easter baskets, which was so cute. This is cilantro, Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> that's for Drew. I think we have oregano, 
rosemary and basil if i'm not mistaken so the basil and the cilantro are growing already i'll give you some updates and then when we actually use it but we're really excited about that and these are just random things that i feel like when i'm watching vlogs people suggest and i'm like oh my gosh that's a great idea so if you're interested in the tidy sink thing I'll link it down below, but make sure it would like fit your sink, obviously. But how convenient, we love that. And I, I guess they're a family owned business that sells on Amazon, so that makes me feel a little better. I am really trying to limit my purchases on Amazon, I gotta be honest, but it is very convenient and I know that that's a very hot button topic, so I'm not gonna like, you know, try to ruffle any feathers, but. I am trying to shop less on there. I can't remember if I showed this, but I moved this mirror down here. This was the one that used to be in my old filming room before I did the room makeover. And I really love it down here. Like I feel like it just makes it more homey. It just completes the space, if you will. I feel like it's very boho vibes. Boho jungle vibes, I'm super into it. These shelves I will have to talk about at another time because they are the worst mistake I've ever made in my life purchasing these, <laughs> they're awful. You can't put anything of any significant weight on them because they'll fall off the wall. It's just, it's just a bad time. And all the screws are stripped so we can't take it out of the wall anyway. We'll talk about it another time. We did a bunch of stuff this weekend. It's Monday, by the way. Um, we did a bunch of stuff this weekend, including propagating and also like planting propagated plants. So like basically all of our plants in this house have like children now and some even have grandchildren. It's very exciting. So I did a bunch of that. I'll sh maybe show that in the next vlog. Maybe I'll do like an updated plant tour or something. Do people want to see that? I don't know. My face is still so red. I'm still a little flustered. So I'm actually gonna shower get myself together. It's about 9 a.m. now. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, are you enjoying your time out here? Okay, let's go inside. Come on. Good girl. Good morning. Oh, okay, bye. All right, we are all showered and clean, ready for the day now in my sweatsuit or this little lounge set, whatever you want to call it. This is from Target. It's by the Colsey brand. I got this back in like probably November-ish and I haven't had a lot of chances to wear it because to be honest, I mostly wear pajamas and this is technically pajamas, but it's like a step up, you know? And also in case you're wondering, I know this is like TMI, but these bras or these little bralettes that I talked about in my like closet essentials video that I put on my main channel recently, I literally wear them every single day. They're from Aerie. I'll link them down below if you're interested. This is not sponsored. They did work with me on that video, but this video is not sponsored. I took the padding out of this one and I just wear it as like a lounge around the house bra. I sleep in it. I do everything. It's literally so comfortable. Highly recommend. So I think that's gonna do it for today's vlog. Sorry if you can hear that fan in the background. I am going to get some editing done. I have a video to send off to a brand today and I've got some more just like editing random computer things to do today. I'm going to be working for the rest of the day. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Love you guys so much and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.